Hi, it is I, Shane, Enchantra Shane. And I have all these notes I've written from the retreat, but I feel more excited about speaking to you really openly in presence. Um, today's Tuesday. We got back from the retreat. Everybody left Sunday morning. And it was really beyond my wildest dreams. And to paraphrase from one of the goddesses who came, she said, I knew it was going to be fun. I knew I was going to have fun. I knew burlesque. I mean, how could it not be fun? But I had no idea it was going to be transformational. And it really hit me, you know, when I'm marketing and doing all these things, I never really know how it lands. But watching the women that showed up, and there were women age 20 to age 52, 53, I think. I don't know how old she was. Women that knew me from being in my group programs and women who had never spoken to me, but either heard me on a podcast or saw me on Instagram and, and felt their intuition and followed it. Um, and then the rest of the women being people who have been to my workshop or something. Real courage emerged, and on my part as well, and one of the biggest, coolest things that I had set up, you know, there was tons of planning, but I went into this saying, I trust this process, and any moment I was afraid that it wasn't going to be sold out, I made sure I did something fun. And that was not easy because there's a chance of losing money. There's a chance of people not being happy, all that stuff. And I refused to get stressed. And there were a couple of times that stress wanted to creep in. But what was also really cool was that I set up a very tight structure of what we're going to do. Like wake up, get in our bodies, gather in a circle, have free time, have lunch, gather in another circle, like that kind of scheduling. But the rituals and the journaling and the breakout sessions and the details and the ritual details emerged from the women that attended. So I fully let my intuition lead. Now I have years of stuff that I could have planned exactly. But because I am who I am and I work with the kind of people that I work with, once I have a plan that's very, very detailed, there's expectations that show up. And then I want it to be good, I want it to be right, and I'm comparing myself to my plan. So I didn't do that. And what I watched was my excitement, my energy, meet the women's where they were because I was downloading and channeling my genius and my zone of genius and my tribal shamanism from years of practices that knew when to come up for these exact women. So it wasn't like, oh, it's Sunday, we must be doing this. So in that container, there was creativity and spontaneity, but it was coming from a super grounded place. And that's almost a little vulnerable of me to me right now because I imagine if you're watching this, you can be like, what? She didn't have a plan? But I'm an improv woman and my genius comes out in the moment. And uh, my human design, which if you've been in my world at all, you know that I love human design. I am led by my spleen, which is intuition, which is making decisions in the moment. And what would happen was beauty would unfold. And I put things together that if I would have thought about it weeks before, I wouldn't have. And watching the women unfold and watching how much they were all on the ride with me, they got the best of me. And I got the best of them. And it became like a team of enchantresses that wherever we went, we raised the vibration. We made the whole space happy. Um, this retreat was in, in Rockaway, where I live, and so the, um, the chef, the catering woman, Cuisine by Claudette, we went in one day to say hello and to drop off some goodies and, and to get um, some extra treats, 
And right away, everyone in the place was totally lit up. And we didn't have our feather bowers with us. Although in retrospect, it would have been fun to always have them. But not everybody wanted to walk around with feathers. And the truth is, the feathers were shedding everywhere. So Rockaway has feathers all over the place. And so what was different than many retreats I've attended was that we had a lot of sharing, um, but there wasn't as much talking in circle. Like we had our gatherings, we had two a day, two circles a day, but it wasn't hours and hours and hours of telling stories of being hurt and wounded. It was sharing and then it was moving our bodies and moving the energy through our bodies is way more exciting and way more interesting than sitting around and feeling sad and sorry and going into victim mode. I am doing a little bit of comparison here, but this is the wrap up. So really watching women who came in not knowing, really hoping for the best, really, you know, coming in from flying in from different parts of the country, like you're in a new town, you're in a new house with a new leader, um, and watching how their voices changed and got softer and more open and more trusting, and watching friendships um, merge when I wasn't around, and seeing who you know joined who, and getting to the beach, and um, we had a live concert across the street at this amazing music studio, and we had a fire ceremony that lasted two hours, and it was so amazing in nature, and yet surrounded in the, an urban environment. And the house was amazing. Um, the pool, the jacuzzi, I took a bubble bath, and the kitchen was amazing, and everyone just really became like family. And we had a Friday night Shabbos dinner, and um, I combined it with some Hinduism traits and, and um, practices and, and all the goodies that we got. And they got yoni steams and sleep oil rituals and um, postcards from an, a local artist and T-shirts and discount cards and um, yoni moisturizer and ritual candles made handcrafted by a woman who makes beeswax candles, um, private, like personalized. And you know, the fact that everybody was on their own trip and in different elements of their life and in different evolved places and different ages and different looks and different body shot sizes, shapes, different skin colors, and that we can all come together and push our edges and see like what's uncomfortable, what's comfortable, what, what do I want to share, what do I hold back, what do they hold back, what do they share, where do they meet in the middle and bond. That by the end of the weekend, everybody had shed a tear, including myself. The container was so tight that I was able to jump in. Um, and we had goddess yoga, and there was a goddess enchantress who never did yoga before. So what a beautiful experience for her to do it in this safe space where you can't mess up. And then we had a transformative photography experience, which blew my mind. You know, there's always a part of me that wants to have it all recorded so we can watch it unfold. But in sacred spaces, it's really strong to not record it. So it's just in our hearts and in our minds. But Heather Manwaring of Transpire Photography really brought out the fierceness in people. And we got beyond performing. And Rachel Krieger's yoga was so beautiful and so, like, in the flow and not pushing or shoving or being mean in the terms of like do it right it was about breath and shakti and so i'm i'm just so super excited to share all this with all of you and i hope that in the near future you are interested in a retreat there's another one coming up in march 2019 it's a collaboration so stay tuned for information on that and then if you're in the New York City area, there are a couple of goodies coming up. There's a two-day um, burlesque immersion for beginners. It's the Awkward Enchantresses. And then there is a performance, a six-week performance series 
part of the Awkward Academy. Um, so that'll be coming up. And also online burlesque. That went so well. So every day at the same time, there will be a drop-in burlesque class that you can take from your home. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm just so proud of the enchantresses that showed up, that I helped birth, you know, their enchanted living, their enchanted way of being. And I love you all. And if you were considering on coming, save the dates for next year. It's the weekend after Labor Day. I think it's the 5th to the 8th or the 9th. So save them on your calendar. Start saving your shekels. And that's it. Um, if you want to save the date and like save your space for next year's retreat, also let me know. We can do that. And um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching the wrap up. Have a beautiful, magical rest of your evening.